Hardcore Gaming's Joe on the road. Warhammer 40k Battle Report. Oryx versus Dark Hazard. Joe versus Nick. The extended stay deluxe hotel. That's right. Yeah, it's not that great. Actually, this is where I started the first Joe on the road. I was actually just over that way. But tonight I'm heading over to Brantford. Tip of the day for Joe on the roads. Set the GPS before you start moving or have your faithful co-pilot do it. See, I'm on my own today. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, hey guys, I'm at, I'm in Brampton. Brantford. Brantford, one of those places. I can never get that right. It's not Welland and it's not Toronto. And those are really the only two cities that matter in Ontario. Niagara Falls and, and then like Winnipeg. That's the city, right? Introduce yourselves for the camera. I'm Nick. Nick? This is Graham. Graham. How you doing, I'm Dave. Dave? Yep. Uh, we're playing a game of Warhammer, and it's been a while for me, so it's like starting new. And we're rolling for stuff. What are we rolling for? Well, we're gonna roll for deployment, I guess. <clears throat> One. What does that mean? Didn't you have the codex? It has been that long. Yeah. D3 plus two objectives. D3 Four plus two. Okay, let's see how many. Four objectives. No, we're three. D3 plus D3 three. D3 plus two. D3 plus two. Three. Yeah, three. three. Either way, either way, we got three objectives. We're good. It's good. The important thing is, it's not Dawn of War. Everyone agree? Set up your army, I'll set up mine, then we'll go from there. And I'm gonna try and steal initiative. Don't tell anyone, okay? We're set up. It took us seven hours because of this. I got a few models out here. It's a lot of fun, right? These are the new ones right here. I really haven't updated. Nice. I have 6,000 points of the old stuff. You can join me, I might be the That's good. okay. But this is what we got. And it's first turn. I'm still initiative. No. That's Someone that. get the Sharpie. I'm putting four more dots on there. Okay, Nick, you got first turn. All right, let's do this. Have fun. Okay, what are you shooting? Because I don't know this new codex. I forget the name. It's like a monolith missile or something like that. But anyways, I can shoot four of these per turn. They're strength six, AP five, and that's it. They got one shot each. Ooh. Absolutely ruthless one turn. Plus they got two dark lances each and a splinter cannon. <laughs> they are being proxied. And my <laughs> suggestion of proxying them with the most ridiculous thing possible was... I ran out of Legos. Was unheated. Legos? That would have been good. I would have appreciated the Legos. And I think I just did that in a huge zoom. Fire away. Okay, so the <laughs> first one's gonna shoot. And now I'm gonna roll with these two dice. Now. <laughs> okay, so this guy right there. Awesome. My ballistic skill is four, so it moves two inches towards me. So that's not going too far from this guy here. This guy, he's actually got a chaos shoulder pad and facing the other way, so he deserves to get shot. I feel a lot of orcs dropping very quickly. Man, this army's called the Glass Hammer. It lasts two minutes. It's an honestly, it's huge pain at the start, and then nothing. It's just crickets in the back. I like it. We got through turn one of, top of turn one, Dark Eldar's turn one, so now it's mine. I lost, yeah, a squad of boys. What's my dead pile over there? And it's gonna get bigger. Much bigger. These guys got shot at, they lost some. The Zap Guns got shot at, they passed their test, he passed his test. Grots here failed their test, and apparently I've got a squig hound. So no. And he ate three more Grots, and so they decided to stay put. So I get to shoot at you now, or do whatever I do. Try? Run? Is that what the orcs do? Run towards the enemy. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. They're tough. That's first turn. First turn, stuff moved up, stuff shot. The truck moved. He's still, you know what? Still in better shape than my Jeep. Those guys shot, didn't do a whole lot. I shook that thing. It's quite shaken. It's quite shaken, not stirred. These guys shot at them, did nothing. Uh, this guy pressed that, you know, they don't press that, he did press that. And that's it. What did I kill? Two Reaver Jet Bites. Oh, there's a dead pile over here. 44 points. 44 points as opposed to... Yeah, it's about even. <laughs> okay, turn two. Chilling view of things to come? No, that doesn't really apply to this, does it? End of turn two. We're actually coming up on turn three. I didn't really do a, vid a little recap thing after the top of turn two because I wanted more stuff to happen. <laughs> if I would have done that, it would have looked really bad for me because I was losing quite handily. Now, do you mind being on video? Apparently it's bad luck and most of the time when guys have their girlfriends on video, they break up with them. Maybe that's what I should do. That's <laughs> Madison showed up. War gamers. On turn War two. War gamers, Madison. <laughs> okay, I declared my wa, and again, I still I don't like saying wa because it doesn't sound right. I'm I'm still convinced that it's gonna be the wa because they got the guttural sound. I was explaining to these guys, right? Yeah. And ladies. Dave, Dave can do it. 
Yeah, Dave can do it. Wow! I'm hearing a G and an H in there. These guys assaulted one of those things and blew it up quite handily. But anyway, a bike squad ran away and they're below half so they can't regroup. But, so, you know what? Dead piles started growing, but on both sides this time. Oh, and the most epic part of turn two, this guy right here. <laughs> Fire Grot Tim to the rescue. <laughs> Firegrat Tim took a shot at one of the Dark Eldar jet bikes, what are they called? The Reaver jet bikes? The Reaver jet bikes. <laughs> and took one down, even with this three plus invulnerable. So there we are. Uh, end of turn three, what happened? We had <laughs> Nick's guy received no cover save and got rammed off the edge of the table. Well, you know what? He did get tank shocked, so maybe he was just too scared. He didn't want to be there. He moved out of the way and didn't realize that the edge of the table was there. Because this is evidently a cliff. They always meet on a cliff. Uh, we lost a war boss and I lost two guys, so we tied combat. And over here... Uh, oh, those guys died epically. But yeah, you destroyed quite a bit in your last turn. They're not as bad at close combat as they think. It's all about the pain tokens. Pain? You know what? They're pretty neat. These guys did nothing. The Grots shot at these guys and still did nothing. But... And they can't shoot anything. So the Zap Guns have been about as useful as... So turn four. <laughs> this cream soda is delicious. <laughs> Don't edit that, Dave. <laughs> turn four. Turn four, indeed. The later the night goes, the better our map gets. How's it going, guys? Wonderful. Wonderful? It's what going, was that? It's going pretty good. Turn four? That was turn the four. End of turn Absolutely four. sensational. Some stuff happened. <laughs> I actually got to kill some stuff. It's a tie game. It's a tie game right now based on objectives. There's one there. There's one there. And those guys there, who have an objective close, but that's not what they're going for. That's not what this game's about. This game is not based on objectives. It is based on objectives. <laughs> we got a combat going here, they're locked in there. A scotch tape truck ramming a skimmer, which actually went through. He missed his maneuvering roll. That's, that's what that is, maneuvering. It's like how I drive. I think we're going on turn five. Yeah. Does that work out? I agree. Turn five? Okay. Let's go, turn five. I haven't done <laughs> dead pile. <laughs> your stack here is up pretty tall. It's getting there. Mine's good, my war boss is here because he's useless. Yeah. <laughs> I killed one of those guys. Uh, those guys moved. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot that went on. What did happen was these bikes that were here got beat up by the death copters and they actually caught them after combat. Because I'm um, just saying it's tied, not because of points or anything or kill points, just because- Or dead so piles. Objectives. It's objectives right now. We're one for one. So right here, this is the moment. <laughs> game over. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. Game. Tie yeah. game. GG. Great playing with you, Joe. That was a blast. I, I think I got your head in the frame somewhere there. But thank you very much. That was that's that it. was a lot of dead. There's a lot there is. Like that's it. I, I built up that pile. It took me a while to get your pile started, but once I did, I I started. It's the glass hammer. It's two minutes of absolute pain. Because I guarantee you at the start, you're like, man, what happened? That goes down as a tie in my books. And being that that was the first game in a while, it was a good game to get, you know, started up. <laughs> now, so you guys got to come down to Mini Wargaming. Yes. Uh, soon. There's no doubt about this. Yes? Yes? Yeah? I might not be there. <laughs> come on! <laughs> You know what it is. Look at this. A dollar for Joe, the Joe Nation. We get a dollar for the secret project, which I have talked about. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys what it was, but it is a secret. That's why it's a secret project. And this is not, it has nothing to do with the secret project. My girlfriend did not find out about it. She did not backhand me. Enjoy it. I just want to know what it is. Just what the secret project is? Okay, I can tell you. Wait. 